lunchtime. Chicken today for a change. <laughs> Lovely. I've just finished uh, a couple of paintings, so I'm having a quick lunch. Before I start again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys. Now, as you know, I love collecting coins, uh, anything about coins I love, so look what I came across while well, looking through my phone. I thought I'd share it with you. Right. Focus. The Crondal Horde of Anglo-Saxon Coins. Look at this, guys. The Crondal Hoard. It's a hoard of coins that a young lad had found. So I'm going to tell you the story about it. I'll read it along with you. Fascinating, eh? In the late 1828, while walking across a boggy field on his family's estate in Crondal, England, 18-year-old Charles Lefroy came upon what he first thought was a pile of brass waistcoat buttons. Digging around a bit, he found a numistic treasure that included a hundred coins. What a fine guy, eh? 73 Anglo-Saxon triamuses, 24 gold triamuses from the continent, and unstruck gold planchets. There's a tongue twister for you, eh? They say that this is the most important coin of that hoard. Isn't it? Lovely. I love doing that one. And if you want to see the rest of that story, guys, or read it, it's on Google News. <laughs> on any phone. <laughs> I get loads sent to me. He also found a pair of jewelled ornaments that were missing some of their gemstones, along with small chains. Anyway, he found this hoard, guys. But I thought I'd share that with you. What a fascinating story. I get these stories sent to me through the internet, so... And as you've probably gathered, <laughs> focus, as you've probably gathered, if, uh, if you go back a few vlogs, I've just washed my hair guys, I had it just at the shower, if you go back a few vlogs, you'll have seen, well quite a few vlogs, I had bought a metal detector, it's over in the corner here, I'll show you it, <laughs> I'll show you it, I've got it. Here, with the tripod at the road. I've got it here, guys. Look at this. What do you think of that? Sorry about this. Yeah? Now you've probably seen me when I first got this, and I have never had a chance to go and use it, so maybe I will. <laughs> I'd like to see that too. Maybe, spotlight's here for my painting just shortly. Maybe soon I'll go and get some metal detecting done. Far too busy at the moment as you've seen there. And I need, as you as you've probably gathered, you need permission for the landowner, wherever you're going to go or, or uh, which part of the country you go, you've got to get permission from the landowner to treasure detectors by law, so that's the biggest uh, hurdle that I've got at the moment. I've never even attempted to ask any landlords or that, uh, be a landlords of, of uh, property, fields or whatever, farmers or whatever, so until that happens I'm not able to go metal detecting, but that gives me inspiration for going and doing it. One day I'll do it, uh, but I thought I'd share that with you. 
Next. I'm just about to go and do some of that painting of that salmon. There has been much debate about when the Crundle hoard was lost or hidden, but the current census is that the hoard dates no earlier than about 65 and no later than about 650. Nevertheless, we know if the coins were bought, brought together for some specific purpose or they represent a wealthy person's savings. We also can't determine the time the coins were deliberately hidden. So there you are, guys. It doesn't look too promising this morning. Black clouds.
guys just saw this pin it's called a holy owl it's night time now guys so i'll say goodbye till now and i'll catch you in the next vlog bye bye <laughs> it's getting dark <laughs>